Hi everyone, Cheryl Skolich, Lipedema Diva, and Kelly Maynard here with another Lipedema Light Bite, bite-sized information about Lipedema. Thanks for joining everyone. I'm Cheryl Skolich with Lipedema Diva. And I'm Kelly Maynard with Wild Heart Wellness. We're super glad that you're here today. We are going to talk a little bit about conservative therapies for managing lipedema. I had a, <laughs> my mind went blank there for a second. And this is part one. We're also going to be doing a part two because there's so much information to give to you yeah. about this. Um, actually, I think there might even be a part three or maybe we'll rename Four. part three. <laughs> <and else>. Yeah, <laughs> there's just too much in here. There is. Um, and before we get started, we also want to just give a little bit of a disclaimer. Um, realize that we're not medical doctors. We're only giving you information about therapies that we've read about, um, that we've tried on ourselves, um, it, or at least a lot of them we've tried on ourselves. Um, but we've been reading a lot about these therapies um, in the research that has been published recently. Um, a lot of this information is coming from Dr. Herbst directly, so that's pretty cool, right? It is. Um, so when I first heard about lipedema, people would say, you can do surgery or you can do conservative therapies. I had no idea what that meant. And so I think maybe other women don't know what that means either. So we're going to do just a crash course overview of some of those therapies. These are non-surgical methods. They are for all stages and types. Um, so not specific to just, you know, if you have stage one or if you have stage two or if you have stage three, but um, some, as we go through it, you'll see some of the methods might be more useful depending on what stage you're at. Mm -hmm. And some of the benefits for these therapies, um, improved quality of life, decreased pain, increased mobility, and improve and reduce that fibrotic tissue. So a lot of these, if you notice, are very much non-scale victories, um, something that we talked about in a previous uh, video. Um, so, you know, we want you to, to really start thinking about some of those changes to your life and improvements to your life, those non-scale victories that you can get from these cons conservative therapies. Right. And why are we even talking about this? The reason that it's so important that you understand all these different kinds of therapies that you can do as alternatives to surgery, because some women don't want to have surgery, it's not financially possible for them to have surgery. There's not a surgeon near them. So it's really important that we talk about these alternatives. Um, the lymphatic system in lipedema has shown in many cases to be sluggish and compromised. So we need to figure out ways that we can help our lymphatic system to function better. And also, uh there can be a lot of inflammation in the lipedema tissues. Um, so when the lymph system is compromised, it seems that it's also attracting a lot of this inflammation. Um, and inflammation is often called to an area to try to help heal the area. It's mm -hmm. just that in lipedema, we have all of that gel and all of that fluid stuck in our, our system. And it's very difficult to get some of that stuff moved to the places it's supposed to be moving to. Um, those fat cells have all of that waste product and it's trying to release that waste and it doesn't have any place to, to get it to. It's having such trouble getting it into our lymph system. A lot of us have leaky lymph systems and it just right. leaks back out of the, the lymph vessels. Right, and if our lymphatics are compromised or sluggish, that decreases our immune response. We have a lot of women that we've talked to, and it's in the research as well, that sometimes lipedema women have trouble recovering from colds or they have trouble healing wounds, even mosquito bites. That's one of the things that has surprised me a lot is it seems like those mosquito bites will just stay around for weeks even. So our immune systems are not functioning optimally and our lymphatic system is one of the reasons why our immune system may not be doing as well as it should be doing. So we really need to try to help our lymph system work even better than it is. 
And you've already kind of touched on the difficulty removing the waste and toxins. Um, we're just not getting all that gunk out of our bodies that we're supposed to be getting. It's not cleansing itself correctly if our lymph system is right. not working very well. And so what are some of the things that we can do? First thing we're gonna be talking about is compression and wrapping to help assist the lymphatics. Um, so I know that when you've been on the various Facebook groups, they talk a lot about compression and wrapping, um, what types of compression are out there, which should I be using for my type and my stage. Um, so we're gonna be going over a little bit of that with you today. Yeah, we know that some women um, want to go buy sports compression. It's available everywhere right now. And we're not going to talk a lot about that because sports compression can work in some situations, but it's not a medical grade compression. And I think a lot of the confusion about compression with lipedema has to do with the medical grades. And honestly, the research shows that sports compression is not usually enough compression to really help what's going on with our lipedema tissues. Yeah, very true. Now, one thing that the sports compression can help you with is getting used to putting compression on every day. That's true. So, you know, while you're waiting to get that prescription, while you're waiting to get measured, you know, the, you know, you just found out about lipedema and you're trying to do something to do about it right away, you can go out and get that sports compression so you get used to putting that on every day, okay? Um, if you are going for surgery though, do not use sports compression. <laughs> you must use what your doctor is giving to you if, you're, if you are having that surgery, okay? Right, and part of our disclaimer, if your doctor has told you a certain one of these compressions is right for you, and you have a doctor knowledgeable about lipedema, then we are just doing an overview. And as Cheryl said, the surgeons will tell you what to wear. So even though we're going over some of these things, don't think that the things we're telling you about are a substitute for what your medical professional has told you to do in your specific situation. Right. right. Um, how do you know which compression or wrap to use? One of the things that's going to determine that is the size and shape of your limb mm -hmm. um, and the severity of your lip, lymph edema and even maybe if the size that is required for your body falls outside of commonly made sizes of ready-made garments um, some of the companies make a really narrow range of yeah. compression so those are some of the things that might influence whether you need one or the other type of garment that we're going to review and so the types that we're gonna be covering are gonna be in progression from the least compression to the most, and according for earlier stages to later stages in general. So in general, the earlier stages require lighter compression. You know, they don't require the really heavy um, prescription type compression. In light, later stages, boy, I'm getting tongue tied today. In those later stages, um, you really need that higher compression to uh, prevent the limb from swelling, to prevent any movement of, uh, of expansion in those limbs. So you're gonna to want to go for that higher compression. Right, also in general, as we go through the different kinds of compression, the price is gonna increase and the range of sizes will probably decrease just because when you get to the wraps and the higher levels of compression, those are gonna probably be made custom for you. So not as many of the sizes that are just off the shelf, those are not gonna be as available. Um, so if your particular needs deviate from whatever the standard is, you're probably gonna need the, the latter compression, compression garments that we're gonna talk about. So some of the compression types, um, one of the lightest is the micro massaging type. Um, some of the companies that make this type of compression are Bioflect, uh, CZ Salus, Bublazar. Bublazar is my favorite, by the way. Um, it, they're out of Sweden. 
they have great colors, so that's why I really like them. It's awesome. Anyway, uh, so this type of compression is really great for when you're exercising, for the lower stages, when you're going to be moving and walking a lot, uh, because the, the type of knit that's in there, it helps to massage your lymphatics and get that fluid moving. Um, and so that's what it's uh, typically really, really good for. Okay, the next one is the round or circular knit. It's known by either one of those names, depending on which company is making it. And as you can see, with the micro massaging, it has kind of a, I don't know, like a waffle kind of pattern. The yeah. round knit is called round knit because it's got little circles, the way that it's sewn together, it's got those little circles. And the round knit is good for women who are probably stage one or two. It's a little more compression than the micro massaging. And you can get it in a lot, probably some larger sizes than the micro massaging comes in just because the round and circular knit is a more of a medical grade and they, the companies make it for women who actually do have swelling in the limbs. So it will be a, um, maybe some of the bigger sizes you can find it. Uh, the next one that we have here is the flat knit. And again, uh, that's a bit of a higher compression. Um, so uh, probably stages two and three, uh, perhaps that uh, lipolymphedema. Um, uh, a lot of these that are uh, off the shelf are gonna be smaller sizes. Um, and so it's very possible that you may need to get something that is custom. Yeah, that's true. And if you look at the, the weave on that, you can see it's lines instead of the waffle shape or the round little circles. So we just wanted to put those pictures up because when you're looking at something online, you may think, I have no idea what that is. It's really hard to tell. So if you look at how it's sewn together, the way that it's sewn together, it affects your it affects you differently depending on how it's sewn together. And that's a little bit outside of what we're trying to cover today, but we just wanted to put that up there so you can tell at a glance which one of these you're talking about. Um, so the flat knit, I think there was something recently that stage three women especially should go more for the flat knit than the round knit or the micro massaging for most of their compression where it's, it's stiffer for them Mm -hmm. And I also read that if you have bulges or creases or indents or something like that, that sometimes women with stage three get, this is stiff enough that it won't dig into those, um, those spots. It'll hold the limb better instead of like sort of working its way into those creases. So it'd be more comfortable. Nice, nice. Uh, and then wraps. And wraps are really good because they can be uh, very adjustable, right? Because you're wrapping it around the limb. Um, and so since uh, there's multiple places to tighten, um, uh, those can be very good for uh, different uh, sizes, uh, say the, the thigh compared to the, the calf and right. so forth. All right, our next section is about manual lymphatic drainage and dry brushing. And these are grouped together because they sort of do similar things to the body. Um, Vauder is a name that you might hear and read about. It's a specific type of um, MLD, very, very light touch. Some women say it feels kind of tickling and feather light and it's a little too light, but MLD in general is a really light touch. Um, and so, as you mentioned, it, while they are different, MLD and dry brushing have similar effects on the lymph system to try to energize and uh, move that lymph through the body. Um, you're going to want to start with deep breathing. And so your deep breathing, your diaphragm is the only pump really that the lymph system has. And so when you're deep breathing, that's going to start moving the fluid through the vessels and the lymph nodes. Um, it'll help decrease the heart rate, help us relax, increase the core muscle stability. Um, 
but that's one of the reasons, and it's a little aside from this, that deep breathing exercises, laughing, laughing yoga, things like that are really, really great things for us with lipedema because it can help engage the diaphragm and get the lymph moving. Yeah, I think that's a really important point. Women are always like, well, I can't do anything for my lipedema unless I go to a water specialist or unless I go to this really expensive spa where they do all these things. And that's not true. You can take some time out of your day to do some deep breathing. And it's a very simple thing. But if you do the deep breathing that engages your abdomen, belly breathing, it can be called also, that can really help with some of this fluid and help kind of jumpstart those the lymphatics. Some benefits of MLD and dry brushing. It helps to move the venous blood, stimulates the lymph system, strengthens the immune system, improves your sur surface circulation. So for those of you who uh, have cold spots of your lipedema and they're cold, this can help to uh, circulate the lymph and get some of that uh, warmth back into the skin and helps to exfoliate the skin as well. I don't know if I went through that one too fast, but I figured you know, they're benefits. They are. And um, these are, we put these on here just to give you an idea. I mean, you can go online and Google all of these things. It's much more extensive than what we're just trying to speed through today. We just wanted to give everyone an idea of where to start looking for conservative therapies. I thought this was so interesting. Mm -hmm. Why does something like dry brushing or a very gentle touch along your skin, how does that even work? Because when I first saw it, I was like, I mean, you're not really doing anything. You can, um, if you don't know about dry brushing, you get a brush and brush your skin and it's supposed to help you. And I was confused, but I just found this slide of uh, the skin and the epidermis, which is the outer layer of your skin, is only one sixteenth of an inch thick at the thickest place. And because the lymphatic system is just below that, dry brushing and manual lymphatic drainage have been considered effective treatments for helping lipedema. If you look at that um, little diagram of the skin, there is a gray little thing that looks similar to a blood vessel. And it goes up to up through that dermis layer. So it looks like that epidermis layer on the top is thick, but it's only one sixteenth of an inch. So you don't even really have to press on your skin much to get one sixteenth of an inch into the skin. And you'll be reaching the top of those lymphatics. And so that's the reason why these therapies are helpful for stimulating the lymph because you're you're reaching it with not much pressure at all, which means it doesn't have to hurt. This is one of the things that doesn't have to hurt. So that is really good news for those of us with lipedema. Very oh, good. and I do want to say, um, Dr. Thomas Wright, he's a great lipedema doctor. I stole some of this information from his webpage. So I just wanted to thank Dr. Wright for putting all that together and letting us use it in our presentation. Pneumatic compression pumps, uh, these are wonderful to help move that lymph along. Um, it, they've seen that it can decrease the leg volume. Um, I've had the benefit of being able to use uh, uh, one of these pneumatic uh, pumps, and I specifically took measurements before and after using the pump, and I saw the volume of my leg actually decrease. So that's really awesome, right? and it can impact the lymphatic and venous circulation. It also can improve your lipedema tissue size and fibrosis, reduce pain, and it can help with vein fragility, which a lot of women don't realize that having fragile capillaries and veins can be one of the problems that lipedema women have. That's part of why some of the fluid leaks back in to the spaces and in our tissues. Um, these two pictures, Brenda Viola with the Lipedema Channel and Medical Solutions Supplier, she gave me these two pictures to use 
and they are great. One of the reasons we like Lymphopress is because their garment goes all the way up to the abdomen, not just the legs. So it's working all those lymph um, nodes, lymph system in the lower abdomen, the top mm -hmm. of the legs, all the way down. And um, they also have arm sleeves, which are really beneficial. And I know some women have had a lot of positive benefits from using Flexi Touch. So I think the important thing is to find what works for you and get with a doctor who can help you get one of these compression pumps to help yourself. And there's Kara Cruz right there. I want to make sure we mention Kara, the Pell Ginger Pear. Follow her if you don't follow her. Yes, definitely. Follow her on Instagram, uh, Pell Ginger Pear. Um, she's a wonderful, wonderful uh, lipedema inspiration. Um, you'll have to take a look at some of the Instagram videos that she's posted. They're, they're just amazing. Yeah. Great. We're now on to whole body vibration. And it, this is just a, a wonderful tool. They, they even think that uh, vibration might help to kind of melt some of that or liquefy that uh, lipedema gel that we have in our uh, tissues. Um, the oscillating type of whole body vibration is recommended. Um, and so that means that it's going side to side oscillating instead of uh, going straight up and down. That's the other type that you'll see out there if you're looking for vibration plates. So you want the oscillating type. Right. Um, this information is going to be from Deb Pelchier. She's the Director of Training and Education at Vibration Guide, if you want to look that up. She has been very generous and kind to write some articles and do some videos for our Facebook group. And so I took this information from her and the pictures that she sent me. But she has been working with vibration plates for a very long time and she has studied up on how they can help lipedema. She says that whole body vibration can reduce inflammation and fibrosis, increase muscle strength, which we talked about how important that is in a previous video. It reduces joint stress and can boost energy, stamina, mood, and mental clarity. And I didn't really think about those benefits, but that's really cool. Yeah, that is. Um, it can improve the circulation and limp because if you can imagine, um, similar to like a rebounder, right? You're right. bouncing, you're moving that limp. Um, the limp doesn't have a pump, a pump of its own, um, except for, like I was saying earlier, with the diaphragm. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's a system of one-way valves going up the body. So when you're moving, you're bouncing that limp up to that next valve. And so it'll bounce up and then get locked and then bounce up and lock. And so that's one of the reasons why the uh, vibration is so great. You want to improve that circulation and limp through the body and move that out. It's great for ma managing aches and pains and stiffness and can help your balance, stability, and flexibility. So awesome benefits. Awesome benefits. And things and that we need. That's true. And I'm glad you brought up the limp does not having a pump of its own because I think some people think it moves like blood where the heart pumps the blood through the body, but the lymph will only move if you move. Yep. And so it's really important that we get some movement going on. And another important point, this is a picture of Deb on her vibration machine, but she has always also told us that if you are not able to stand, that you can get benefit from the vibration plate from just sitting and resting your feet. So you don't have to have mobility. You don't have to have an ability to stand for a long time to get the benefits of the whole body vibration. Right. I know some lipedema ladies who are um, uh, like lying on it on the side for their hips. Um, so there's a lot of different things that you are able to do with a vibration plate to, to get that working for you. Uh, our next item here is uh, aquatic therapy. One of my favorites. I love the water. Yes. I need a pool. I need a pool. Uh, <laughs> but with aquatic therapy, it works like graduated compression because that water pressure um, varies the deeper you go down in the water. So 
especially walking and exercising in water is just wonderful because you have that higher compression at the bottom of the pool where your feet are and it'll just help to uh, compress and move that lymph up through your system. Yeah, and I was watching a webinar you were on recently with Dr. McHutchison, and she was saying, even if you are not really able to exercise in the water, just that effect alone of the pressure getting more less as you go up your leg while you're standing in the water, that's a great effect too. So we're saying aquatic therapy, but standing in a pool is actually great aquatic therapy, even if you're not moving much. Um, I think one of the things I like about aquatic therapy is my tissues feel so heavy all the time, but when I'm in the water, it takes away the effect of gravity. Mm -hmm. And so I feel lighter. And um, I think for a lot of women who have a hard time moving because their tissues feel so heavy, the water can balance that out and you can actually move more in the water where and do things that you wouldn't be able to do like if you were at the gym or trying to exercise at home you can do some of those movements and it's it's also suitable for all types and sizes and beneficial if you have joint pain or mobility issues as i was as i just mentioned earlier it's great relaxation stress reduction so you know, just wonderful to sit out there in, in that water. Gives you that gentle massage. Um, and also muscle training with that natural resistance of the water. Mm -hmm. um, you can even get some uh, special like dumbbells um, and uh, items like that. Um, so some water weights and use them in the pool. Um, and you're using just that, that resistance of the water to help with that muscle training. Yeah. Um, I know that Dr. Herbst has said repeatedly, she cannot stress enough how great being in the water is for someone who has lymph problems and who has lipedema. It's just, it's a great, great therapy. So in review, conservative methods can and do work for many women with lipedema. There is hope for you if you don't choose liposuction. There is hope, we can control our lipedema uh, you have control over how lipedema affects your life and your health. And for more information, contact me at lipedemadiva.com. Or you can contact me at wildheart.health, and my email is info at wildheart.health. We also have two Facebook groups, one for patients at lipedema and food sensitivities, take control of your lipedema, and for uh, health and wellness providers at Lipedema and Food Sensitivities Healthcare Community. Hope you guys join and uh, hope we hear from you on those Facebook groups. You can take control of your lipedema. We'll see you next time. Bye.